What's up, guys? Swift here bringing you all of the NFL draft coverage. Luke Getze and the American squad had their first Senior Bowl practice today. Getze had Ryan Poles, Ian Cunningham, and Matt Eberflew standing nearby watching on the sideline all day long. My first impression is there is a clear improvement in talent when watching these guys at the Senior Bowl after watching the Shrine Bowl practice the last few days. While the Shrine Bowl features a couple of standouts like A.T. Perry, the Senior Bowl features talent all over the field at every single position. I saw players at almost every position except quarterback that could start for the Bears day one. Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham were all business today, and it's great to see them get to work this draft together. I've heard some people say this is a bad draft class. I disagree. There's a lot of talent in this class. It's a deep draft again, just maybe not as top-heavy as some years, but it's still a very good class overall. The battles between the O-line and the D-line have been incredible so far. The wide receiver cornerback battles were also particularly feisty as well. Overall, this practice was very fun to watch today. I'm finding out a lot about players I've watched on tape and discovering some guys I haven't watched tape on yet either. Luke Getze was all over the field overseeing all of the action as head coach so who stood out today? I'm going to go over every position and then I'll give you my three most impressive players on offense and defense. Let's get right into it. The quarterback group overall struggled today, choosing to check the ball down too often and not taking many shots down the field. The explosive play by the defensive line didn't help. But quarterbacks take no contact in these drills. They have to be able to make plays. At running back, Eric Gray looked great, especially catching passes out of the backfield. He's very fast, very shifty. Kenny McIntosh from Georgia went down in a weird loose ball collision. His leg crumpled underneath him. Good news, though, it ended up just being cramps. He missed the rest of practice today, but should be back tomorrow. He had a good bobbling catch as well and is a player I like. Tulane running back Tajay Spears looked so quick with home run speed. He also made some big plays today. And then we will move on to the wide receivers. Tank Dell was the most impressive today. He's dynamic and explosive. He created plenty of separation and he was open all day long. He was making corners look silly. The guy I was most excited to see, Rasheed Rice, he looked smooth, he ran crisp routes, but he was held back by errant throws from his quarterback today. Hopefully Rice gets more opportunities over the next few days. Then we get to Andre Yoshivas. He looked smooth and crisp running routes. He's very explosive, very fast, reminds me a lot of Christian Watson honestly, but again he didn't get many chances to make plays today in team drills, but he looked great in 1v1s. Same with Xavier Hutchinson and Dontavian Wicks. They just didn't get many chances today, and when they did, they were either overthrown or underthrown. Jalen Wayne, though, Reggie Wayne's nephew, had a nice route where he completely lost the corner for a deep touchdown catch. And then another guy I was really excited about, Jonathan Mingo. He struggled to get separation a bit in one-on-ones, but he made a nice catch over the middle of the field in team drills. It was the longest pass of the day in the team portion. Honestly, it was hard to evaluate any receiver in the team drills, though, as the quarterbacks continued to check the ball down and just not take many shots. At tight end, Will Musgrave looks like an NFL guy. He's a fluid mover and a natural hands pass catcher. He was easily the best tight end on the field for the American team, although Cameron Latou and Will Mallory didn't look bad either. And then we get to the offensive line. Tennessee's Darnell Wright is a beast. He stonewalled Allie Gay to start practice. He looked great all day. He was only beat one time, and it was by Iowa State's Will McDonald. More on him in a bit. Syracuse tackle Matthew Bergeron, he had some great reps today. He looked good. He showed a strong anchor and good athleticism. 
Steve Avila from TCU who played center for two years and then moved to guard this last season, he was just great. He went back to center today and he dominated DJ Dell and some other interior rushers. Avila looks like a day two pick and plug and play starter at guard or center. Personally, I'd take him as center. Unless we got this next guy, John Michael Schmitz. He looks like a day one starting center in the NFL. He's stout and he's powerful. He has great technique. Nobody was getting by him today. I loved what I saw. He's one of the best centers in the draft and is probably solidified as a day two pick. And then we have Florida guard Osiris Torrance. He was my top rated guard going into the draft, but for some reason he tried playing tackle today and it did not go well. He was beat consistently. He did move back inside to guard later in practice and looked a lot better. He stonewalled Alabama's Byron Young late in practice. And then let's move on to the defensive side of the ball. Derek Hall was the first guy I noticed when he beat Osiris Torrance with a power rush badly. He has the length and power you look for. I honestly think he can play inside or outside in the NFL. Dylan Horton showed explosiveness around the edge. He got my attention in practice today. Zach Pickens had some good pressures from the interior. His first step is so quick for a D tackle. I like Pickens a lot. Then we get to Will McDonald from Iowa State. He showed so much bend and speed to beat offensive tackles. He showed a variety of pass rush moves, and he looked just like a natural gifted pass rusher. He got pressures in team drills as well. He was dominant all day, and honestly, the player I was most impressed by today. He is the only guy that beat Darnell Wright all day long. He flashed speed and power. There were just some great battles in the trenches today. I expect it to continue over the next few days. I gotta admit, I didn't watch linebacker as much as I wanted. I've already watched the American team practice three times. Isaiah Land got a couple of reps at edge. He looked okay, but didn't do too much. But the guy who impressed me was Servakia Dennis from Pittsburgh. He had incredible coverage on Tajay Spears in the flat for what would have been an easy pick six. Great play. And then we get to cornerback. There were just some really good corner and receiver battles as well. The corners were feisty and aggressive. Darius Rush beat Jonathan Mingo on a curl route for an interception. Kansas State's Julius Brents wasn't letting anyone get open. He had five straight reps without allowing a catch today. Impressive. Also, Chamari Connor, the Virginia Tech corner, he looked great in coverage as well. Very fluid, nice hips and change of direction. But the most impressive player in the secondary was Georgia safety, Chris Smith. He looked awesome in coverage, shutting down tight ends today. He was closing passing windows on throwing lanes. He had fluid movement skills. He's quick, especially for a 200-pounder. Very impressed by what I saw by Chris Smith. Always a little bit of rust on the first day of Senior Bowl practices. Most of these guys haven't put on pads in a while. They are working with all new teammates, all new coaches, new rules, and going against the best competition in the country. This is where NFL players are made. I expect the passing game to improve on day two. It was good to see Ryan Poles, Ian Cunningham, and Matt Eberflew's front row in attendance today. I'm going to give you the guys I was most impressed with on offense and defense, my top three on both sides. My number one was John Michael Schmitz, who just looked awesome today. If he continues, he will solidify himself as a day two pick. He's currently my highest rated center in the entire draft. But I have to talk about number two, Steve Avila from TCU. He's a guy who I had at guard, but had played some center before. He looked almost as good as John Michael Schmitz today. He has a chance to challenge for that top center spot and should also be a day two pick. Number three was tough. Darnell Wright was very good today, but I was much more impressed with Houston receiver Nathaniel, a.k.a. Tank Dell. He is just so explosive, and he was the best receiver on the field today. That will change over the next two days as this passing game opens up. 
and receivers get to make more plays. I expect Rasheed Rice, Andre Yoshivas, Jonathan Mingo, and Xavier Hutchinson to have big time showings over the next few days. Let's go ahead and move on to the defensive side of the ball. The guy who impressed me the most was easily Will McDonald Jr. from Iowa State. He was listed at linebacker, but I was most excited to see him in pass rushing drills today, and he did not disappoint. Even better, he was fluid in coverage as well. He has so much upside. I love this guy. The second most impressive guy on defense to me was Kansas State corner Julius Brintz. I'll also say it's hard for a corner to impress me as I'm paying much more attention to other positions, but this guy was locking people down all day long. Great day. And then lastly was Georgia safety, Chris Smith. He's looking more and more like a top 50 pick, and he improved his draft stock today for sure. So many of these guys could end up being Bears targets. Once the Senior Bowl is all over, I'll give my final impressions on everyone as well. I was kind of just taking everything in today. It was a slower practice since it was the first day. Getze preached about having more fun and energy for tomorrow. I'm excited for that for sure. If any of you guys watch the coverage on NFL Plus or even the recap on NFL Network, let me know if there was someone who stood out to you or someone that caught your eye or any comments you have, leave them down below. I'm going to try to answer all comments on this one. This was a big one. This is Luke Getze, his first time getting to be a head coach. It's for the American team at the Senior Bowl. He has Ryan Poles and his buddies right there watching over him. This is just a great chance for the Bears to evaluate talent firsthand. Ryan Poles can even be like, hey, Luke, I want to see Will McDonald in more pass rushing drills tomorrow. And guess what? Luke Getze's the head coach, so he's going to do that for his GM. It's just exciting. It's awesome. I can't wait to see more. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. Hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.